Ever wonder how loud something is? Or just wanna test it, wanna know if your generator's ticking your neighbors off? Or maybe you're a YouTuber and you wanna get into testing some stuff and seeing what the decibel readings are? Well, I bought this guy a few years ago and it wasn't bad, 20 bucks. Got this one recently, 30 bucks on Amazon, and it's a fair bit of an upgrade. Let's do a comparison and see what these sound meters can do and whether the extra $10 is worth it. All right, so let's take a look at the unboxing of the TOPS sound meter. Of course, you always get the handy dandy manual. I usually put that on the bench, forget about it, and then can't find it when I finally need it. There's the cloth carrying bag that absolutely no one uses, but that's the beef of the package right there. The nice sound meter with a dust cover and three batteries that look suspiciously like Duracell. They're not Duracell, but they do the trick. And did you notice they're AAA? I do love AAA batteries, unlike D batteries. And there, that's the bane of my existence. The little tiny screw in the back that you have to remove. There I am using too big of a screwdriver to remove that tiny little precision screw. Now with my sausage fingers trying to open up the package. Oh, gotta, there we are. And I'm surprised I never dropped it, not even once. But once you get the batteries in, the other downside is you can't leave that screw out. It doesn't have one of those little quick release clips. So you have to put the screw back in. But once they're in there, they're gonna last a long time unless you're using that thing every single day. And that's really all there is to it. And that's all that comes in the box. There you go. So you can see quite a bit bigger screen, quite a bit brighter, no direct sun here at all. Hard to see in the daylight, but they do both light up as well. They both have min and max features, which will uh, do exactly what you think. Measure the minimum, measure the maximum. They also have a hold button. So if it's moving around and you wanna lock in that measurement so you don't forget while you're testing, hit the hold button, that holds it. Power on, power off. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how accurate are. They're gonna do side-by-side -side tests to a couple of different items and we'll see, hey, do they work? Is it worth the extra 10 bucks? And do we even need a decibel meter? So I thought it would be handy to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two meters. Got the tops in the left and the Meng Shen, I don't know if I pronounce that right, on the right, and did a slow walk up to my Furman tri-fuel generator running on gasoline right now. It's pretty accurate, you know, according to the factory specs, it should be right around 80 decibels where it is at the moment. And you're gonna notice as I walk in, there's about one to one and a half decibel difference between the two. The tops tends to run just a little louder than the Meng Shane. And that is, it stays that way both directions. I figure, hey, let's swap it around in my hands and go backwards. But the margin of error listed in the papers for both is plus or minus 1.5 decibels. So that puts it right on its mark. Okay, let's do a breakdown of the specs on each meter. The TOPS decibel meter is TS, model number TS501B, Tango Sierra 501 Bravo. 30 bucks, $29.99 on Amazon. It has a range of 30 to 130 decibels with a plus minus range of accuracy 1.5 decibels. What I like about it, battery is included. Built-in cover, which helps keep that windsock or dead cat or whatever you want to call it on has a two and a quarter inch screen, which is great. Now compare that to the Ming Shen Pro Sound Meter. Model is HT, as in Hotel Tango 80 Alpha. Takes D batteries, not included. Half inch LCD screen. Same range of 30 to 130 decibels and price is 20 bucks on Amazon. Now, you're gonna see this yellow sound meter everywhere on Amazon under a bunch of different names. It works, I've had it for a long time. If you're looking for a little bit of an upgrade without spending a ton of money, then I would say go with the TOPS meter. I love it. For an extra 10 bucks, it's been a great upgrade. I'm a gadget guy, but if you haven't spent any money yet, spend a little extra. It's easier to read in the sunshine. That's probably my favorite thing about it. That and the cover that helps protect both the microphone and the windscreen. So if you're still here, if you're still listening to this video, that means I made this video for you. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and stick around because I got a bunch more videos that I'm making just for you. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.